Omoti kodu yempe tu yempe 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 don't know what is at stake each time they are playing a match. They don't know how much Ghanaians invest their time, energy, and put their heart into a game they are playing. If they knew, they wouldn't have played how they played in the last game. Because in the last game, they had their des own destinies in their hands to choose or make the right decisions. Because tell me why you were leading by two goals to nil and you sat down for this Mozambican to come and equalize. Charlie, now nah, these guys don't know what's, I mean, really at stake. So just stick with me. I'll show you a video of a man who displayed how I mean Ghanaians or what Ghanaians go through when they're watching the Black Stars. And I beg you, in case you know anyone that can send this video to the Black Stars, please do. So that next time they are playing the match, they will know what to do. They will know that they had no option but to win. So don't be talking that much. Let's go and watch this man as he shared with us or displayed what Ghanaians went through when they were watching the last game against Mozambique and Charlie you would cry inside you for this man he really displayed what Ghanaians went through but I'm talking that much let's go and watch him but before we go yes if you are watching this video for the first time or if you're watching for the first time don't forget to like this video comment as well share this video finally very important to me subscribe to the channel and before I even show you that video okay are you aware that each player was to receive thirty thousand dollars should Ghana have qualified to the next stage yes each player was to receive thirty thousand dollars should we have qualified to the next stage so let's go with this man come back and then we'll talk about it so let's go president for money, a young coy and pet, young pet, young pet, young crayon, you are qualified, young qualified on the left. I don't know, I'm going to go for a mere hope of being that's what I'm doing. Born on winter, I will tell you, we are crazy, and I, you are going to lose you, and I'm going to be a papa, 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 Because 
I be queen. This year no. You two points be qualifying. As I go push two nil. Now what's that? Oh, so no how? I know you're the two Ghana force. Hey, President, yes, Romo. Since the Kenya war, we the Muslim people are coming here and they come. We go for Omra. We go for Omra. No Omra. Yeah, Panisa. Come from Bani. Eh. Bravo. Tama. Do I home? Tama. I said, no, can I ask him to see you? There, there. And I'm telling you, I'm speaking the mind of many Ghanaians. Yes. So there you have it. If these players, I mean, were to watch or have seen this video earlier, they would have known that this is how Ghanaians felt or feel each time they are playing a match and they would, I mean, have no choice but to win a game. And I think it's even good that we, we, I mean, came out or where, I mean, we, we couldn't make it to the next stage because should we have qualified? I mean, who are we going to beat? Is it Senegal? A joke. Who are, who are we going to meet, beat? Is it Cameroon? It's a joke. Okay. And so it's better that, I mean, we were, I mean, taken out of the, of the game. I think the GFA itself need to be, I mean, dissolved. I heard this morning that, oh, the coach, Chris Hilton, I mean, has been sacked, including the, te the, the technical team also has been dissolved. And I was even shocked that Chris Hilton, who I'm told that, oh, I mean, has some white blood in him, never resigned when we lost or we drew the last game. Like, seriously, you played three games at the AFCON, you never won any, you lost one, and you drew two, and all you could say was that you take the blame. And if it were to be, and if, I, I mean, if he were to be, I mean, a real white person, he, he would have resigned, but then, come on, his father, I'm told, was a Ghanaian. So, yes, he has a Ghanaian blood in him. Because no Ghanaian official would resign to things go wrong where, I mean, they are working or if they are managing something and things go really bad, not no person or Ghanaian would resign. And he really showed that, yes, he had a, a Ghanaian blood in him. So without me talking that much, let me end it. What do you think? Okay, share this video. And finally, very important to me, please do send the video to the Black Stars if you have the means so that they will see what Ghanaians go through when they are watching them such that next time, should they be caught to come and play a match, they'll put in their all such that they have no option than to win. Okay, so now let me end there. But then before we go again, don't forget to like this video, comment as well, share this video. And finally, very important to me, subscribe to the channel. So, so see you in my next video. Bye.